Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe Lyons here from The Automator, and today I'm, I'm talking again with Jean Delon, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up. Uh, it's a great tool. Today he's going to walk us through how to easily access mobile devices from QAP. So Jean, where, do we, where are we starting here? Let me share my desktop. Okay, there's a system folder in Windows that will list all the devices that are connected to your computer. So if you go to the Customize window to allow, allow you to add an item, and the type of item that you want to add to your, to your menu is a special folder. So the second radio button there. Yeah, click continue. So here's a list of, there's about 50 system folders in Quick Access in Windows. And I group them by subject. If uh, you want to open the, the hardware section, that's where you will find portable devices. So it will open a, it will open a system folder with all your portable devices currently connected to your computer. So you save and you open uh, your menu. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this open, but um, it wouldn't normally be open. So now I'm gonna hit my hotkey. Yeah. Uh, and here's portable devices, and mm -hmm. that is going to whammy open. Yeah. It. So it opens your Windows Explorer with the current uh, devices that are connected to your computer. And from there, it's easy to, to navigate to the folder that contains, for example, your photos or your music. So um, the way I do it more for the most frequently is to put this folder in a group. And as a second item in a group, I put the folder where I want to copy my photos. So one of the tasks I do regularly, I take photos with my iPhone. I want to have a backup of these photos on my folder. So I have a group that will open the portable device on the left side and my photo folder on the right side on my own computer. And there it's easy to just browse to my photo and, and copy the new photos yeah. that I added. Let's go ahead and do that. So I have, uh, I keep mine under Dropbox, which is a B drive. Yeah. But uh, I want, actually, can I, can I do it from here or should I just copy the path and then go to add it? Uh, with the context menu, it would be, you would just have, just have to right click on the folder and select add folder to quick access pop-up menu. Okay. And just click add and save. And that's the easiest way to add a folder to your, to your quick access pop-up menu. But now, to your point, I want to create a group that yeah. has both of those. Okay, right? so click Add. At the bottom, there's Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay, and then so click on Camera Uploads and click Move at the last button on the right side. Okay. And select the group that you just created. So mobile stuff, yeah. Same thing for portable devices. And when you save your menu, you will see that your menu now include mobile stuff with the number two that will tell you that there are two items in this group. Okay. And if you close everything and just select this, it will open now two windows. Nice. With these two um, and we could elaborate and see that you could position these windows. You can put select the position of each of these windows so they could be side by side if you wish. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you use a, a, a file manager that support panes or, for example, directory opus that I know that you use, you could also say that you want one of the folders on the right side, the other on the left side, so they oh. would be side by side in directory opus. But right. if you do it with Windows Explorer, you can achieve the same part, the same thing by giving coordinates where you want to position each of these windows. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know QAP is an amazing tool. Obviously, we're not diving into all the nits and you know uh, advantages of it, but um, this is a great way for people who who do like you said. I'm constantly getting files from my phone, and just hey, I always you know copy them to uh, here or a subfolder, but at least make it easy to jump open both you know directly and jump to them and, and not have to fish around for them. Yeah. Now, I, I noticed when we were back in here, and let's go back to customize, customize to add a special folder. So, so there was, a, yeah, there's a lot of different things here. How else, what are, what is, well, let's say, what's your other main one that you use here? Is yeah. there anything? Oh, um, startup folder, for example, uh, or the application data. 
So there's a lot of things. It depends on what you do with your computer. So that's why I group these system folders by categories that are more the kind of user. If you're a power user, you want to go to the cookies folder because you want to delete some cookies. You right. want to go to the recent items, uh, the quick launch. So there are lots of stuff where you can uh, directly have access to what's on your computer. If you're a system administrator, it will be more be the things that when you manage a computer that is used by various people. So you will have, for example, the common startup or um, you will common folders. Um, if you um, want to access content on your computer, there's another section below that is about content. So your videos, your libraries, your um, so a lot of, uh, your music, things like that. And hardware is where we found the portable device uh, section, but it's also about network. And finally, if you know the name of your um, folder that you want to add, uh, you can use the alphabetical order where you will have the list of all the, the 50 items. Excellent. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is, again, it's a great way to access your mobile device info, um, but obviously there's a lot of other things you can do with it as well. Thanks, John. See you next time. Thank you.